Andy Johnson. We are looking at onset rhyme as used as part of a strategy to develop word identification skills. This is done in the context of the 38 most common photograms. Our goal is to develop the ability to recognize letter patterns or word families called phonograms. Focus on one phonogram every two to three days. In this way, you can focus on vowels, consonant, and consonant blends. Remember, we don't teach reading. We develop the ability to create meaning with print. It's all about the neurons and developing neural pathways. I start by reviewing yesterday's phonogram, and I use word walls for this. For example, a riddle, nothing on the page, and they have to look at these. It reinforces, and it's meaning-based, and they have to find blank. Fish are in it, and again they look, and it reinforces. Money is in it, etc. Got smaller, etc. Meaning-based, they have to look for the A-N-K word, and it is found in a meaningful context, all right? It's not simply a list of words outside of any meaningful context. Excellent. And then we go on to review the next new phonogram. In this case, it's the IC. So the first part was reviewing yesterday's or the previous phonogram, ink, and now we're introducing the new phonogram. They see it in color off to the right, n plus ik is, and the student says, do it this way, p plus ik is, and the student reads. Notice, we use uh, colors to differentiate the letter pattern. D plus ik is, l plus ik is, r plus ik, and you see it, all right? And sometimes you have to help your students provide structure. You don't want to frustrate your student. Tr plus ik is tr good, all right? You don't want to frustrate your student. So I generate all the possible words using that. If I want to extend it, I have a suffix as well, okay? And then at the end, they see all of them. Watch me, follow my finger, d, ik, lick, nit, and we read through those, and review this. Use this how you will adopt and adapt, all right? But that is the basic onset rhyme.